Oh. G'day everyone, how everyone's going? Well, what I've got going on today is I'm sewing some curtains. I'll uh, show you what I'm doing. I'm pinning it all out, I'm going to sew it all up. And I've got heaps and heaps of curtains to sew right around both sides. And there's something across the front too, I have to work that out once I get to that part. Anyway, but what I'm going to do first, I'll just pin all this up and I'll just move the camera down and show you what I'm doing. There you go, should be able to see that. I better put the short lookers on with the blinders back. So I'm just pinning these up now. Take that one back out. Yeah, just folding it over like that. Fold it over and just pinning it in. Fold it over again. I like to sew when I was in school in the 1980s and in the um, late 70s when I was at primary school. We had sewing class and our teacher's name was Mrs. Woods. Mrs. Woods at Barman High School. At uh, Barman Primary School, I meant. And that's where I like to sew and also we all do, also done sewing class in high school in Tamora. These days you don't do none of that. We had cooking class. We had cooking class, sewing class, metalwork and woodwork. But I don't, I, I know they still do woodwork these days, but I don't know if they still do metalwork. That's what I like to say. A couple more in and I'll throw this one up. We're using rubber back curtains just to keep a bit of the heat out. But we're going to go blinds, but we changed our mind on blinds because it's just how they blinds how the shape of the bus and how the blinds attached, I've changed my mind. So all we're going to do is put a, um, that wire stuff you buy from Bunnings that stretches out, put one top and bottom to hold the curtain on. Well, you can see what I'm doing, so what I'll do, I'll finish this, and then I'll get back to you when I start sewing. Well, I hope you can see this is alright, but I'm going to start sewing this one. Stick it in there. Lock that down. Find my foot thin. And I go forward first, and then I go in reverse. There we go. Pinny out every now and again. I'll show you it nice and straight. When you sew, you're not in a hurry to sew. Just take your time. You take your time, you're not going to make mistakes.
Can I get my tone? Yeah, I'll probably mix that. Pipe that through there. When you start rushing, that's when you start going wrong. Don't cook it on the sewing or something. Every day and again I just check to make sure it's at least sewing at the back. This, this old machine, this is my mum's old machine. I don't know how old it is. Probably 30 year old this thing. And it still works. And I've sewn some stuff with it. I've sewn leather and everything with this old thing. I'm no expert. The thing about it, just take your time. Don't be rush. When you're in a rush, that's when you'll start making mistakes. Hold it quite proper right there. I'll get it. I got it. Tuck it back under there. Just have to tuck that back under. You get more confident, you can save faster. When you get near the end, you just go to the end, push it in reverse, come back out, done. Put her up, slide her out, grab your scissors.
Cut her off. And that's it. Done. Just like that. Beautiful. Good enough for the bush. No, looks alright. Looks good. Now, now I'll keep going and I'll have to make a little do cut it and do the top and bottom for my sleeves to go through. And then I'll show you what I'll do after. I won't show you sewing all that up, but I'll show you when I've um, got them made and I'll put them on the bus. So this is stuff I'm running from the top to bottom. So I'll open this one up and show you what it is. This is wire stuff. This is that stuff. You got these little clamps, these little things to screw, screw in there to put a screw in. Which you can see them in there. If you can see those or not. And screw them to the bus. But that's what I want it, so I have to that runs inside of there. So when you do this one you have to leave enough room so you can slide that in the length of that. That's what I'm doing. So what I'll do. I'm going to fold this over, give it up a fair bit, fold it over, and pin it like that. Grab one of the pins. Make sure we've got enough folded over. Yeah, that'd be heaps. Grab it up there. And grab one of the pins. Through there. Like that. Pull it out. And then you do that all the way along. Do the same just here. Try to keep the try to keep the distance between there the same if you can. Right through there again. Like that. And then that wire will slide up inside that grip, slide up in there and slide up there to come out the other side. And that's what you want. So when you hang it on there, you got one at the bottom, one at the top. Because in the push, the bus is not straight, it's just curved a bit. You want to keep the bottom in or just hang straight. And that's why I'm doing it with the wire top and bottom. Anyway, I'll finish all this here. And I'll sew these, sew these ones up. I'll show you what I do when I sew this. But I'll finish all the, pin all this. And then I'll show you when I show, start to sew it up. How do you sew it up, Dad? It's curtains, bub. Oh, for the bus? Yep. Now, what you do, you take that off there. You put that on there. There's mum. I uh, went somewhere. Oh. Start sewing. Go backwards. And just start sewing nice and slow. And you stay pretty close to the edge this time. Pardon? Oh, I'm talking to the camera. Oh. Sorry, I didn't know she had it on. You're right. Stay close to the edge this time. That way so you can get your wire through there. Last time, just go nice and slow. Stay close to through this edge, that's the only difference. Don't go too far, you can't get your pins out. I just did then. I'll stop every now and again, just make sure that bottom's stolen. Nothing worse, you get halfway through it and you realize the bottom is not stolen and then you start all over again.
Usually you don't break your cotton. I only tell me you break the cotton if you're going too fast. I don't like this as tea and I should have had it the other way around like I did the other ones. But I'll get there. And when you get to the end, the same thing, you go to the end, put it in reverse, and that'll do it. Pour it out. Just trim your cotton up. That's it. I'll just maybe get back up this way a bit now. There you go. So now you've got your pocket for your your wire thing is going to come down there and it's going to go in there, like that. And you're right to the other end. And that's it. Bottom done of it. Yeah, see the cotton gave it up on the bottom there. You can't see that. It won't hurt it. It won't hurt it. Anyway, I'll finish this one off. I'll finish this one off. And then I'll finish, do the other one, and then I'll show you, put me two, two front ones up on the bus. I'll finish this one off now and I'll get back to you when I take them out the bus. Well, I've got one, one side of this already attached up. Look, as much as that dirt on the window. Take this blind, it's dirty. So now I get one, get the blinds and I'll put them on there and I'll screw that one up. I'm just using these soft tapping screws. I screw the little thing in the end. Some of them need, some of them have got a bit of gap, so I try to close it up a bit. I grab one of the blinds, both the blinds, and I stick them on, then I'll screw it up there. Check one over my shoulder. Got to keep them off the ground if I can so they don't get dirty. Especially the white part of the, the white part of it, I don't want to get that dirty. Spread that cable through them. Like that. There we go. Do the same to this one. Over in. Hmm. 
I'm going to put it a bit tighter. And I'm going to cut this off and cut this off a bit more. This stuff. Just take the screw out. Take the screw out. Get it out. So what I'll do, I'll have to get another one. Grab one, then I'm done with it. Yeah. Got another one here, so what I'll do, I'll cut him off a bit more. About there. Let's just screw another one in. Yeah, screw him right in the end. Got this screw in my pocket. Got my screw. Right up the top. Get the wire out of there. Come out. Got two little, two little hook, more hooks, and then I screw those in. Screw this one in here.
go all the way back till I do this, but I'll dust them up. Um, grab the pliers, do the same as it at the top, put it there and just so it stretches out. Get there. Just grab another loop. Another clip. I put them in too tight at the moment because I've got other ones to put on there yet. That's it, and I'll put a thing up here to hold it up there like that. And that'll be the blinds done. Curtains. There. That'll give you a quick look. There you go. All I'm doing is going to get a little half circle thing that sit, that'll sit in. Pull that up, and that's it. Blind to be done. Looking good. Anyway, I've got about 14, 14 more to do. I'll do all them, get them all on, and this will be it for this video. So I'll go and start sewing more. So here they are, what they look like. Wish they look pretty good, actually. Alright, I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.